Hi, I'm Dr. Ruby and welcome to the Veggie Chest where healthy food is easy and always delicious. And we are making a really, really delicious recipe today. We're doing a raw pizza. This is absolutely one of my very, very favorites. And most people I know who have it agree that it becomes their favorite too. So we're gonna do this in like three phases. The first phase is the crust. So we are starting with uh, raw almonds that have been soaked uh, for just over two hours, but if you can do it overnight, even better. So we're just gonna drain those and then we're gonna put it right in our food processor. All right, so that's about probably a cup and a half of almond. Then we're gonna put our, um, we're gonna put some basil because we're making a savory crust. Often use almonds and make a sweet crust, but you can make it savory by adding these type of ingredients. We're gonna add a little sea salt, about a half a teaspoon of sea salt. And then we're gonna add just some one or two cloves of garlic. Don't need too many, just one here. Um, and that's gonna make a really nice savory crust. And we're gonna pulse it, whoa. <laughs> Ready to go. <laughs> so we're gonna scoop some into each crust. Now we can make these little mini um, pizzas, which I think is really cute. Especially if you have kids, you can have them help you do this. They love getting their hands in this nice mix. Oh, and we can also do it as a large single um, pizza as well, which we're gonna do here. So what we're gonna do is just mold it and press it really tight together so that it sticks together like a crust. So we're just gonna pack it nice and tight. So there we have it, nicely packed. And that is phase one of our pizza, our delicious crust. So next we're gonna make a really delicious cashew cheese sauce which is really what sets this dish apart. It is so yummy. And you can use it not just for this pizza, but any other dish that requires a cheesy sauce. I have a good friend here to help me uh, put this all together. Paul, welcome to the Veggie Chest. Thank you very much, glad to be here. Excellent. Now, Paul actually attended one of my, two of my cooking classes, so he's like an expert now, aren't you? I'm way better than I was before. <laughs> okay. So we have our cashews that have been soaking and I'm just gonna drain them here. Now, these cashews look a little bit different um, than the ones that I tend to buy and eat. Um, I notice that they're very pale. Okay, because these are these are raw cashews. Okay. So that might be why they look a little different. And right. then they're soaked um, as well. How long so, did you soak them? We soaked these for about um, three hours. Usually I like to soak them for at least 24. Okay. Um, and you can soak them for longer if you like. Okay. Um, so what does soaking do to them? So the soaking actually helps break down the enzyme inhibitors, okay. which is why nuts last so long, because they have enzyme inhibitors. Once we soak them, those are broken down, okay. and then um, we're better able to digest digest them. Oh, I see, okay. Yeah. So that makes them um, a little Easier. softer too. I exactly, guess, right? especially okay. for the sauce. So we're gonna okay. add a couple of things. Um, we need some garlic about two cloves if you want to grab that. Sure. Okay, and just while you're uh, doing drop that, them right in. Yeah, right. maybe about four. Let's do four. Okay. Four is usually better with, now, with the garlic. Do you need to crush these or just, again, just, just put them right, right in? in. Okay. Yeah, so, so the machine does all the work. Yep, and then I'm gonna do um, some lemon juice. And then you can add about half of that, um, just a pinch of the sea salt that we have okay. there. So we don't need a lot of salt because we have the tamari that has its natural salt. That's right. Um, and then we've got a little bit of um, olive oil. This is kind of optional for people if they don't want to add okay. more oil. And what does the wanna, olive oil affect to? Um, it helps with the emulsification of this to make it nice okay. and smooth. And adds right. a little flavor too. Okay. And then we can add the tamari, about half of that. About half of that. Flavor. Yeah, and this is a wheat-free. Yeah, now go right ahead. That'd be about a teaspoon. Yeah. So, right? okay. Yeah, nothing's exact in my cooking. Oh, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't really measure. I can kind of get a good. It's a guideline, a little bit yeah. more. I, I do a little more? bit more. Okay. Yeah, yeah, almost all of it. <laughs> oh, almost all. Of it. Yeah, yeah. How's that? That's good. That's right. good. And then we're gonna add um, our nutritional yeast. So, which is, which is that right that there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And how much? And let's do two tablespoons. All right. And nutritional yeast is gonna help make this creamy um, and give it more of that cheese-like uh, flavor and texture. Okay. So it's used a lot. One more, let's one more for good measure. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so we're gonna 
All right, perfect. All right, so I think that's good. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of water just so that it's easy to blend. I think we said about three tablespoons or so. Um, so we're gonna blend this up and have a delicious cashew cheese. Okay. All right, here we go. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pour this um, over and we're gonna give it a spread. I'm like, this is the best part of the dish. All right, so now we're gonna move to, I'm gonna give this a taste, see if you're right. What do you think? That is good. All right. <laughs> all right. We are gonna move to our final phase and put all of our delicious toppings on there. So we'll be right back. Okay. All right, Paul, so we're gonna put it all together now. Okay. Um, we're gonna start with our cherry or grape tomatoes. These are grape tomatoes. So if you wanna just add, um, add those in here. Okay, all of them? Um, almost all of them. Okay. <laughs> Um, and then about half of our sun-dried tomatoes. The sun-dried tomatoes really add the flavor, like a really deep, sweet, tangy flavor. And those are sun-dried tomatoes that were packed in olive oil. You can also use the dried sun-dried tomatoes, now, but I, you'd need to rehydrate now, Should I pour in all the oil as no, well? No, we just don't the need tomatoes? all the oil. We really oh. want just the tomatoes. And then we're gonna add our parsley. So if you just wanna put the um, parsley in here too. All right. all right, perfect, yeah, kind of around like that. And that's gonna be like our tomato sauce for the pizza. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is just kind of layer a couple of things like you would a pizza. Okay. So we're gonna add um, some onions. So I'll just put a dollop here. And we use the red onions because they're a little bit milder since we're using a raw dish. Um, and you could even use shallots on this as well. So if you want to spread those out a little bit, sure. that would be great. And then we're going to add from there, if you want to grab the um, yellow bell pepper. Okay. I like to use either yellow or orange just because it's really pretty. Um, and it makes it, makes it stand out. Because we eat with our eyes, so it needs to be nice, pretty, colorful. Because you could add all these veggies together. Um, and just uh, blend them, you know, do a pulse on all, and it looks fine that well, way Well, this too. does look a whole lot nicer yeah. just seeing it, you know, kind diced like that. separated, yeah. yeah. And then our final topping are um, some olives. These are Kalamata olives. Okay. A lot of nice tangy flavor too. Okay. So, um, and so it's optional. It's really what you like to put on your pizza, just like, you know, Whatever veggies you like. I like to call this the Veggie Max pizza because it's like, yeah. got a lot of good veggies. I've also done this with um, marinated mushrooms and balsamic vinegar that add a lot of um, nice flavor to it. So. Well, you know, not having tasted it, just looking at it, just like you said mm -hmm. before, you know, you kind of eat with your eyes. Right. I know this is going to be delicious. So you can either um, serve this immediately like I think we should, or we can <laughs> let it set in the refrigerator. I think it tastes really great at room temperature, but it's also good cold. So, shall we give it a try? Let's do it. All right. So make sure you get all three layers there. This is the moment of proof. <laughs> this actually tastes better than New York pizza. <laughs> Well, that's a compliment. And I've had my share of New York <laughs> This is excellent. I, I do love it. Thank you so much for helping me make this. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna finish this off. So thank you for joining me on this episode of the Veggie Chest, where healthy food is easy and always delicious. <laughs>